In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create outline text in Blender 2.8. If you learned something, please like and subscribe. So the first thing you're going to do is go into Blender. And then you can click anywhere on the screen to get rid of the splash menu. We're going to delete the default key by clicking X on your keyboard and delete because we'll be adding text. If you push down the middle mouse wheel, you can look around. If you click shift middle mouse wheel, you can pan. If you scroll to middle mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. Okay, then click shift A to add. Go down to text. Click tab on your keyboard or go up to here with object and switch to edit. We're going to delete this and type in the text you want. So I'm going to pan over. Let's look at the text. Now you go here where it says A. This is your settings. It might be a different letter depending on what version you have. And we go down here with the geometry. And where it says depth, we're going to increase this. This is going to be a bevel. And we're going to have that bevel be a different color than the original text. And that's how we're going to create the outline. So you don't want your letters to be bumping into each other. But if you want to have a bigger bevel, then you have to increase the character spacing down here underneath spacing. And the more you increase this, the more the way each letter is going to be for each other. I think this will be good for now. And now if you click tab to go into object mode, or you can do it from up here, object mode, make sure you get text selected. Go here where it says object, and scroll down where it says convert to. And select mesh from curve meta surf text. So now we've changed this from text into a mesh. Now, the next step will be easier if you have a larger text. So we're going to click S to scale and Z on the Z axis. You can always make this smaller later. Certainly like that. So it's pretty thick. Maybe a little more. Then you click tab to go into edit mode. And then we're going to toggle x-ray view and then select up here this box with a smaller square inside of it. That is a face select mode. If you can't find it, you can click shift click. So now we're going to create boxes. You can either click B to create a box select or you can just start dragging. Select just the top. Now make sure you go into one, which is front view and then select just the top. Like that. You don't want the bevel to be selected. So go over here to the next one, click one to go into front view. This time click shift and hold it on your keyboard. That way it does not deselect the rest of your text. Like that. Come over here. Click on one. Hold down and shift, and then move the box over it. Now that we've done that, we're going to create the first color, the front color, by going down here to the panels property. And this is going to change the material. Click on new, and then change this color to whatever you want. We can leave it at white. I'm going to change it to a blue teal. And then if you click over here, on the viewpoint shading or render view, you can see what you've done. So now we've made the whole text blue. Now we're going to click Control I to invert the selection. So everything we had selected is no longer selected. And we're going to create all this, whatever we want our outline color to be. Now we're going to go back down to the panel to the material properties. Click on the plus up here to add a new material. Click on Assign to assign this uh, material to whatever we have selected. Then create new. Now it's currently set on white. You can change this if you want. And if you want, you pick. If you click on hex, you can paste in a hex code. We're gonna leave that white for now. And then click on Tab to go into Object Mode so you can view it. So we have so far. If you want to leave it like this, you can, and look like this. 
or if you want to have it flat, you click in. You're gonna have it selected. We're gonna go into object mode. Have it selected. Click S on the keyboard to scale Z on the Z axis, and then bring it down as flat as you want. And now it's flat. If you want to scale it down, you click S just to scale. You can scale it just on the Y axis by clicking SY. It'll make it just taller and shorter. Or you can scale it on just the X axis, SX. It'll squish it down. And we have it. Click S on the keyboard, and Z to scale it on the Z axis. You get small. Like that. And that's how to create outline text in Blender 2.8. If you enjoyed the video or learned something, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.